that there's Amit reports on a hypnotic skeptic slogan here. On paranormal slash afterlife evidence, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. This is what skeptics keep saying, but why is it that no skeptic will discuss the extraordinary evidence? My expertise in the admissibility of evidence tells me exactly what evidence to present. If the evidence is objective and repeatable, that in itself will be extraordinary evidence. For seven years I witnessed stunning afterlife evidence, materializations, and these are objective and repeatable. Each time we have a session we end up, for some 15 minutes, with an extra solid human being in the room. He tells us he materialized from the afterlife dimension. That is extraordinary evidence. That kind of repeatable extraordinary evidence scares the daylights out of skeptics. Because the extraordinary evidence shows in very clear terms that the skeptic's beliefs are all wrong. I say it again, that there are some very serious psychological problems. Why skeptics cannot see the paranormal with scientific balance? Thank you, Victor, and can I add that Victor's final statement there? In red, about skeptics serious psychological problems follows as viewing of my skeptics are ultra-hypnotics looking for a hypnotist like James Randi, the recent video and the surprise independent finding about how skeptics are made in the Logan School in Queensland. And I repeat Victor's challenge why don't skeptics discuss extraordinary evidence such as physical mediumship materializations. I have seen them myself, they call the boxes of normal physical reality. So why won't any skeptic discuss this repeating scientific phenomenon? My answer is, their father figure hypnotist Randy has not implanted any hypnotic dialogue slogans in them on this subject. Thus they make no utterances.